Hey everybody, Mr. Whited here, and I want to take a moment to go over a topic that is very, very important in Accounting One, and that is how do we use debits and credits when we're analyzing transactions and recording them into the journal. So before we can do that, we really need to go over the definition of debit and credit. There are a lot of misconceptions about what those terms mean. So debit, and you will see me abbreviate that DR periodically. Debit simply refers to the left side of an account. That's it. It just refers to the left side of the account. It does not mean good or bad. It does not mean increase or decrease. It simply is referring to the left hand side of an account. So credit on the other hand, which you will see me abbreviate as CR, refers to the right side of an account. So if we're looking at a T account, and let's just say in this example, we're looking at cash, the debit side is the left and the credit side is the right. Now, I wanna caution you about something. If you think you know what debits and credits are because you know how they're used with your bank accounts, like your checking account, for example. You don't want to think about these the same way you would uh, a bank account, because the way banks use debits and credits and the way we use them in financial accounting, they are two totally different things and they're actually backwards from each other. So don't Think about this in terms of how banks use debits and credits, because if you do, your accounting is going to be completely backwards. So there are rules in place that tell us when we need to debit something and when we need to credit something. And uh, when we debit or credit an account depends on a couple of things. First of all, it depends on what account are we dealing with? So are we dealing with an asset, liability, revenue, etc.? The second thing is, do we need to increase the account or do we need to decrease the account? So I want to show you a learning aid that you can use to help you keep all of this straight. And the learning aid is Alice. Now, each letter in Alice refers to a specific type of account that you've already learned about. So A is going to represent assets. L will represent liabilities. I will represent income, which we more commonly refer to as revenue. C will be capital. And E will be expenses. Now, here's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna take the first and last letter of Alice. Okay, the A and the E, which are your assets and your expenses. I'm gonna take those two and I'm going to join them on the left-hand side of this diagram. Now, why am I joining them up on the left? Well, remember, debit is the left side of an account. 
So I'm joining these on the left because they're increased on the left. So that means assets and expenses are increased with a debit and decreased with a credit. So I join them on the left because they're increased on the left or they're increased by a debit. The middle three items, the L, the I, and the C, which represent liabilities, income, and capital, I'm gonna join those three on the right. And I join them on the right because they are increased on the right. We know that the right-hand side of an account is the credit side. So these three are going to be increased with a credit and they're gonna be decreased with a debit. Now you may have also heard the term normal balance. So what that means is if we have a T account and we determine what the balance of the account is, Typically, the balance is going to fall on one side or the other, depending on what kind of account it is. So the easiest way to remember the normal balance of an account is it is the same side that increases the account. So let's go back to A and E, assets and expenses. I join them up on the left because they're increased on the left. So what that also means is since they're increased on the left, the normal balance will also be on the left. And we know the left is the debit side of the account. L, I, and C, liabilities, income or revenue and capital I join those on the right because they're increased on the right. So that also means the normal balance will also be on the right, which we know the right is the credit side of the account. So hopefully this aid will help you as you're learning how to use debits and credits and analyze transactions and maybe demystify that process a little bit as to when do I debit something and when do I credit something. As always, if you have any questions about this or if you need any help with applying this, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. Have a great day.